Hazel and Aloha is your unk, burpee yoga uncle. Korea is actually known for a lot of soup. One of my favorite is the Korean ginseng chicken soup. Costs about 20 bucks for a little chicken with some little ginseng so I can make my own. I'm going to show you the entire recipe in three minutes. It is so ono and so easy to make. And I use a big organic chicken, a big one. When you go out into the uh, restaurants, they give you that chicken maybe one third to one half the size of mine. There, maybe even quails and little little chickens can't even get full. So that's why I make my own. It is super super easy to do. Only a uh, very few ingredients. Most of them you can buy in Asian markets. I guess the f hardest would be like the ginseng. Anyway, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll show you how to do them. A couple minutes in the mukbang afterwards. Fitness foodies and the fabulous absurd from burpees to camu you're never gonna know what you're gonna get from your unk burpee yoga uncle here goes the two minute recipe almost three minutes you need uh, ginseng and dried dates right here optional is dry scallop if you have any go buy yourself a chicken it's actually cheaper than if you buy uh, separate pieces of chicken i got a free range uh, organic one but you can get a uh, you know cheaper ones with, without it being organic uh, you need sweet rice so that's one thing you do need uh, I suppose you can try mochi rice but sweet rice is what's used in Korea uh, you know they're a little bit more dense and it comes out a little bit sticky and you need salt and I have a Korean salt but you can actually just use any kind of salt kosher salt any kind of salt the first thing you want to do is make sure you clean out the chickens inside get rid of all the innards and gizzards and then you would coat it with a salt just rub it around inside and if you want to use a, a natural stuff like MSG or chicken powder bullion, you can put them in there too. I didn't do that. I'm sure they do that in the restaurants, especially MSG. And then uh, the, the rice, uh, the mochi, the sweet rice, I actually soak for about half an hour and I mix them with the dates as well as the ginseng. Now proceed to seal it with a skewer and it's just in out weaving in and out. The entire video of this whole unedited is in the back along with the mukbang. So you can do both of them and you can see how I actually did it. It's not that hard at all. It's, I mean, I just do simple, easy recipes. The chicken's all pow. It's all done, ready to go. And it's talking about the soup. All you gotta put in there is the salt again, the, the, a little bit of dates, a few pieces of ginger, and also green onions. And you just throw the whole bug in there in the instant pot and voila, after a few minutes of waiting and you're done. And you, remember, before you eat it, you take it out and look inside. Watch. The, the recipe's done. Now it's just the grinds time. The mochi rice or the sweet rice is so, so good. Oh my goodness. And it's very healthy for you too. Anyway, here it goes. You see that? Nice and close up. Uh, if you got down this far, please hit that like and subscribe button. After this, a uh, couple of close up shots of the soup as well as the rice. You're gonna do a mukbang. You're gonna see me eating the the, uh, the food I just made, as well as the entire unedited version of how I made this uh, Korean ginseng chicken soup. And uh, I also do a lot of uh, other videos on my channel. Uh, it is called Fitness and Foodies and everything else in the middle, right? The fabulous, absurd. So thank you so much. If you're down this far, again, you know this your uncle, burpee yoga uncle, man. You never know what you're gonna get. Bless up, and every day be a better version of yourself than yesterday.